No matter how much time is spent writing the perfect script or assembling the perfect cast, a single celebrity appearance can wind up being the only thing audiences talk about. Whether it's adding to the story, delivering an unexpected gag, or just creating an incredible moment that fans might not even catch, the right cameo can take a movie from good to great. Here are Screen Rant's 10 amazing movie cameos you've never seen. Jurassic World Corporate branding was a major plot point in the Jurassic Park reboot. Oh, this? I got it on eBay. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Which meant the bigger, better dinosaur park featured an IMAX theater and even Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, the chain of restaurants founded by the famous singer. When the customers are sent scrambling by attacking pterodons, it's hard to miss one man who doesn't want to lose his margaritas in the chaos. The best part? That's Jimmy Buffett himself, apparently more worried about keeping his costs down than a pack of killer dinosaurs. Star Trek Nemesis Some directors like to keep their favorite TV shows and movie franchises to themselves, but director Brian Singer was an obvious Star Trek fan long before he included a nod to the original series in his X-Men universe. But it was Next Generation star Patrick Stewart who scored him a cameo in Star Trek Nemesis, officially making him an in-universe crew member of the USS Enterprise. Guardians of the Galaxy From the moment James Gunn got the job of writing and directing Marvel's space adventure, Fans knew that actor Nathan Fillion would have to make an appearance, having starred in Gunn's previous movies Slither and Super. Rumors spun out of control, claiming the Firefly star would play one of a dozen comic heroes. But in the end, most casual fans probably missed his cameo altogether. The actor's sense of humor wasn't used to play an outlaw, ravager, or goon, just a prison inmate promising to put Star-Lord through a night he'd never forget. I'm gonna slather you up in knob and jelly. <laughs> Go to town. <laughs> it's a smaller role than fans hoped for, but he can't say it's not a memorable one. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom Raiders of the Lost Ark was a universal hit, but fans are a bit more divided on its prequel, Temple of Doom. This is fun! So some Indiana Jones fans may not have realized that Ghostbusters star Dan Aykroyd makes a blink and you'll miss it appearance, sending Indy onto an airplane out of Shanghai. The actor made the cameo since he was a close friend of director Steven Spielberg, who can also be spotted along with producers George Lucas, Frank Marshall, and Kathleen Kennedy dressed as missionaries in the same scene. Ghostbusters Ron Jeremy may be better known for his career in adult films, but he's made at least one Hollywood appearance worth watching. When the containment unit at Ghostbusters headquarters is turned off in the first movie, it releases every ghost, specter, and spirit the team has caught. <laughs> It sends the movie to its climax, and Ron Jeremy is there to see it firsthand, in an uncredited cameo among the New Yorkers gathering to see the explosion. That's great actual physical contact! Hot Fuzz Seeing a famous actor or director in the background of a movie is a fun thing to watch out for. But what about celebrities put right in the spotlight without fans ever noticing? Director Edgar Wright packed too many cameos to count into his buddy cop action comedy, but two stand out for their eyes alone. The man dressed as Santa Claus putting a knife through the hero's hand in a flashback is Lord of the Rings mastermind Peter Jackson, and his masked girlfriend, well, make that ex-girlfriend, is played by none other than Oscar-winning actress Kate Blanchett. I see. <laughs> Spaceballs The Star Wars parody from Mel Brooks is filled with inside jokes and slapstick humor. Spaceballs? Oh, shit. But it wasn't just George Lucas's trilogy that got sent up in the movie. When the hero Lone Star and his partner Barf stop in at a space truck stop, they get a front row seat for a horror show. Reenacting the chestburster scene from Alien would have been a good enough joke, but actually having Oscar-nominated actor John Hurt reprise his role as the alien's victim is too good a cameo to believe. Oh no, not again. Dumb and Dumber 2 The original Farley Brothers movie starring Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels was a hit from the start, but the sequel released 20 years later wasn't. <laughs> Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence may have had her brief scene cut out from the movie completely, but one incredible cameo did make it through. Most viewers will recognize that Harry's new roommate Ice Pick is a crystal meth cooker torn right out of AMC's Breaking Bad. What they won't recognize is that it's one of the director's friends under the mask, none other than Bill Murray. Best day ever. Greatest day of my life, really. Ball rats. Today, every fan of X-Men, Spider-Man, or Marvel's Avengers universe knows Stan Lee the creator of some of the most famous superheroes in comic book history. That's thanks to his almost mandatory cameos that fans know to watch out for. But long before his characters were dominating the box office, it was director Kevin Smith who knew a brief appearance from the Marvel icon would send comic book nerds into a frenzy. 
Lee's scene is probably the funniest and most dramatic one he's ever turned in, playing along with the movie's crude humor and even delivering a heart-to-heart -heart for the ages. Jagger and me, we had a running contest to see who had the most. Even more impressive since he made it all up. Hey, you know, I think he bought it. Hook. This reimagining of Peter Pan was meant to be a children's movie, but there were plenty of kids who couldn't handle the infamous Boo Box. No, 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 boo the Boo Box. No. Captain Hook's punishment for men in his crew who doubted his plan. But the pirate who wound up locked in the box with some scorpion friends wasn't a man at all, but actress Glenn Close in disguise. Apparently, it pays to have Steven Spielberg as a director, since he also roped in George Lucas and Carrie Fisher to play the kissing couple accidentally sprinkled with fairy dust. Those are the best celebrity cameos we noticed in our favorite films, but which ones do you think we missed? Be sure to name them in the comments and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.